another video and this is my absolute favorite dish today i am going to be making a pot roast with potatoes and carrots of course and if you know this dish you know that potatoes and carrots is the best thing to go with this um so i told you in the beginning i'm going to be bringing you guys easy ingredient meals simple very affordable things like that and if you know me you know i shop at kroger's a lot so the pot roast that i picked up it was on sale um it's a nice size for me it was like eleven dollars or whatever so it's already been um defrosted i've had it since last week i defrosted it and i've already cleaned it so it's ready to get the seasoning on there and it's ready to go in the crock pot so normally i would do this dish eight hours but today I didn't have time, so I'm going to cook it on high for about four and a half hours. Um, and then it should be ready by the time I'm ready to eat. So before I get into the whole crock pot situation, I normally um, pan sear my roast. But a lot of people don't have like a pan big enough to fit it. So I'm going to be showing you guys my um, countertop skillet today. And then we'll throw it in the crock pot. So first we got to get some seasoning on this. So this is a lot of meat. And, you know, you don't want to over season it because all um, everything else will be pretty flavorful. So you don't want to have it too salty. So I'm just going to do a little bit of um, Mrs. Dash on the front and then a little bit of Saison on the front of there. And then I'm going to do um, make sure you always wash your hands or as you've seen in my first video with the wings, when you touch raw meat, you want to make sure um you wear gloves so i'm gonna do some fresh um, black pepper on there just pick it on there and then we're gonna give this a flip and then season the other side you just wanna make sure your meat is completely season and if you need any more of course <clears throat> go for it so now that we got our meat all seasoned i'm gonna show you guys that skillet i was talking about i love this i got it as a gift as you can see i use it a lot it's pretty worn down um but it's big enough to fit the whole um roast in there so i'm gonna be using this one and you plug it up and on the side here as you can see it has a little crank and it goes up to 425 so right now I am just going to put it up to about 300 and it only take like a couple seconds to heat up um, and then I'm gonna make sure I put some I always like to do like a cap full of olive oil in there because you don't want to just throw the roast in there without any oil so I'll just do a cap full and if you need any more so what you want to do with the roast and I have a you guys i have like dishes that is big enough to to flip it or you can just like things like this to flip it or if you have like one of those um really big forks like when you use for barbecues and stuff like that that's a good thing to flip it too so now this is all heated up and you just want to make sure your oil is all the way around because you want to get a nice sear on your roast and then we're just going to put it in here i'm going to flip it back and forth for a couple minutes just so that you know it's seared so, done with that. so we're gonna let this go for a couple seconds on both sides <clears throat> where it gets nice and seared and I've already got if you haven't noticed already over here I'm going to pull it closer, but I got my crock pot ready. Um, it's just on high, and it's just waiting for this to drop down in there. So look at that. You want to get it nice and dark on both sides. All you're doing is searing it. You're not cooking the whole thing. Um, you, you know, this take, this is a lot of meat to be cooking, so you're just searing it on both sides. You know, make sure you get it evenly coated in that oil. I love this this um skillet for this um counter it's like the best thing like if you don't want to do any dishes you don't want to turn the stove on and the eye on any of that you can just use this so as you can see it's seared on both sides so then i'm just gonna i know it's a little hot and i'm gonna pick it up and then i'm just gonna give the sides some coke 
listening. It's not gonna, it's still gonna be pink, of course. You're not gonna get every part of it, but as long as you get some of it a little bit seared on there. Because in the crock pot, it's slow cooked, but it doesn't give you the char that you want. So, make sure I get all the corners. Yeah, see? And then it's not pink anymore. Let me get it a little bit. I know it's a lot of flipping and a lot of hustling with this thing but people that really cook you know what it's like to sear something before usually i do it with a steak so then we'll lay it back down let it sear a little bit more and then we're ready i love this i usually do my stir fry in this one too um it's something like a wok to me it gets up to 425 so you know it's pretty good to work it all right so now that we got that all seared I'm going to go ahead and turn this off so it can start cooling down. It cools down fast. It heats up fast. This thing is amazing. And then one more time for the other part. So, we're about done with the searing of this. Um... I'll give it a couple more. All right, so as you can see, the sizzling has went down a lot because I've already turned it off. Um, and like I told you, I already got <coughs> my crock pot ready for this to go right in. So um, I'm not going to use the same tongs that I use. I'm going to grab here and then we're gonna just take this out pull this hot and drop it right down in the crock pot see I should have used my other one because you have more room and it can it can lay out a little bit better but it's okay for today maybe next time so now that we are done with our countertop skin I'm gonna put this off to the side we're done with that then I'm going to cut some um, vegetables up and an onion. I have four red skin potatoes, just the bag of baby carrots, and then I have an onion. So I'm going to do a time lapse because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me um, cutting. Normally I have it cut ahead of time, but I wanted to show you guys everything. So I'm going to change my camera, do a time lapse, and that way I move a little bit faster and we can get going with this. All right, I'm back, guys. As you can see, I time lapsed so that you guys can um, get through the boring part of me cutting everything up. So now that we've gotten everything cut up, like I told you, let me go over a couple things before we finish this dish up. Um, so with the carrots, I normally buy one bag of baby carrots, and then I just cut them in half. So that's that. And then I buy four big red skin potatoes. As you can see, they're they're halfway peeled and they're not because I actually do like the red skin potatoes, but some of it is way too much skin. So that's why I half cut them. And then I always do about a half um, uh, cut of onion so that we can finish this up. So with all that being said, all these vegetables are already um, pre-washed. So let's bring our crock pot to the front because this is the main part of the dish. So this is on high, it's ready to go, it's ready to get everything else in there. So what you'll need to do next is you've already got it seasoned so you don't need to add any more seasoning or it'll be way too salty. So what I'm going to add is, first of all, let me do, um, this is just like a little half cup of water. Not even, a, yeah, like a half a cup of water. So we're just gonna add that in the bottom. This is the only water you'll need. You don't need any more. Secondly, this is, um one cup of dry um <clears throat> brown gravy some people use onion powder use whatever you like i like gravy on it so i'm just gonna sprinkle that right on the top of the roast you just want to cover it and 
then that's when we start getting all the vegetables and everything working in there. So the first thing I'm going to start with is all the potatoes. Just put all of them. Yep, you put it right on top of there. Then you just want to put a couple dashes of salt on there. Then carrots. Yes, you want to completely cover your meat because these vegetables don't need a long time to cook, but your meat needs a while. And then you just want to take the onions and put them right on top. Make sure you don't have any little pieces. I always have when I'm cooking, this is called the garbage bowl. <laughs> this is the bowl that you just put everything in when you're done cooking. And then you just toss it at the end. So this is that. And then we're going to close everything else up. And all the dishes go to the side for the dishwasher. And that is it. That is how you make a pot roast. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to make it to the end to show you guys how it looks. But I would definitely upload pictures. Um, what I wanted to do is just show you what kind of roast I use, what kind of vegetables, which I'm sure a lot of people do. Some people don't use uh, potatoes. They just use mashed potatoes. So, um, And then I have this on high, and I'm going to cook it for about four and a half hours. I'm not going to touch it. Don't need to touch it. Just let it just let it go so thank you guys for watching and i'll be back with a couple more videos soon um i know i've been saying that and there's a couple more dishes that i need to do but i've been so busy and like i said if you know me you know i'm trying to put together a barbecue sauce and i'm working on a food truck right now and i'm working on a recipe book so i don't have a whole lot of time but when i do i will definitely bring you guys more videos thank you for watching and thank you for your support